Hello and welcome to my video about fraction review. So here we have um, a simple set of fractions and all we're looking at is adding, subtracting, and then multiplying and dividing fractions. And I have them laid out like this because adding and subtract subtracting fractions are basically the same idea and multiplying and dividing fractions are again basically the same idea. So what we're going to do first is we're going to start with the adding of these fractions. Now what we have to do when we're adding and subtracting fractions is we need a common denominator. So we need a common uh, denominator, which basically means the bottom of our fraction uh, has to be the same for both of our fractions that we're adding or both of them that we're, su that we're subtracting. So to do that, what we're going to do is, uh, I'm gonna use a different color so it's nice and easy to, I'm gonna even go thinner. There you go. Uh, so I'm going to multiply the left side by the denominator of the right side. So multiplying by five. And then the other side, I'm going to multiply by the denominator of the left side. So by doing that, we're going to end up with uh, 10 over 20 plus uh, 12 over 20. And um, yes, there is a there is a simplified version that we can go to for the denominator of 10. If you see that and you can do it, go for it. Okay. But if you don't see this a simplified version right away. Um, feel free to just use the method I just said. All right, once you have that, you can actually um, make it out, out of the same denominator. So like this, so it's all over 20. So 10 plus 12 over 20. And finally, our answer is going to be uh, 22 over 20. And if we really want, if we want to simplify that, that would be uh, 11 over 10 just dividing by two on the top and dividing by two on the bottom. All right, so same process here uh, with subtraction. So we're gonna multiply by the denominator of the other side. Okay, if we do that, we are left with uh, 48. Yeah, 48 is our denominator um, and we have, uh, 36 plus 6 is 42. Wow, it took me a long time to do those uh, multiplication things in my head. Um, okay, and so that's what we get. Now we can do what we did before, which is to say, hey, we can have it over the same denominator, so 42 minus 8. So if we do that, Yeah, if we do that, uh, then we will have 34 over 48. Um, and we can simplify that as well. How about I do that in the same color, so we're the same sort of scheme, same idea. Okay, we can simplify by dividing by 2 for both. So we'd get uh, 17 over 24 and that would be our simplified fraction there and our simplified fraction there okay so now let's take a look at multiplying and dividing fractions just have to find myself my um, mouse i can scroll down a little bit okay so multiplying and dividing fractions so this one is actually uh, a little bit simpler. So what you do is you're going to, especially multiplying is the easiest one, you're just going to multiply the tops and multiply the bottoms. So straight across and straight across like that. So 1 times 2, 2 times 3. So what's that going to equal? Uh, we're going to have 2 over 6 and we can simplify that to one third. Okay, uh, then if you look at this next one, we're dividing. Um, now, dividing is slightly different. The difference is when you're dividing by a fraction, you actually just have to flip and multi multiply. So I like to say flipping, oops, 
flipping multiply. Just flipping multiply, man. Um, you know, anyways, it's fine. Flip and multiply. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to keep the five, the first fraction the same, and you're going to flip the other the other fraction. So I changed it from three over five to five over three. Now it's just as straightforward as the other question, where you have five times five over six times three. <coughs> which would give us 25 over 18. And can that be simplified? No, no, it can't be simplified. So that would be our final value. <clears throat> oh, wait. Yeah, no, yeah, sorry. Uh, that can't be simplified. Yeah, I was like, wait a second, it can. All right, so I hope that that helps you guys understand um, fractions just a little bit better. If you guys uh, have any questions, feel free to let me know in the chat below. Bye.